welcome back to another professional prep video. In this video, I'm going to wrap up our discussion of differential equations with one final fully solved differential equation with a particular solution and thus an initial condition, as shown. Um, if you are not familiar with how to do these, I would recommend taking a look at our previous couple of videos where we break down into three steps how to solve these. And in this one, I'm going to be doing the full solution with all three steps already included. So here we have dy dx equals 2x cubed over y, and we have our initial condition. So as you know, we wait to start with our initial condition until a couple steps in. So let's start by separating the variables. If we bring the y's over to one side, we have y dy. Keep the x's on the other side. We have 2x cubed, sorry about that, 2x cubed dx. And there's our big separation of variable step to get us started. Now we need to do the antiderivatives. So I'll show this integral symbol. So what's going to happen with the antiderivatives? So y, these are both reverse power rules, which is good practice for us. So y to the first will become y squared and then one half in front because you divide by two for the coefficient, which is one here. So that's going to be one half y squared. And we can easily check this by taking its derivative. One half times two is one, two minus one is one. So we do get y. We get one y to the first, which is just y. We can apply the same logic to two x cubed. Three plus one is four. The exponent will be 4, and 2 over 4 is actually also 1 half. 1 half x to the 4th plus c, of course, which we would have a plus c here, but we can just move it onto one side. Typically, we bring it onto the x side, and we can check this by taking the derivative of 1 half x squared, which does give us 2x to the 3rd, or 2x cubed. And now, We've completed our first two steps. This is when we use the initial condition to evaluate for c. So let's plug in our values. So we know that y is equal to 16. So 1 half 16 squared when x is equal to 2. So 1 half 2 to the fourth plus c. And now we can start evaluating. So we have 16 squared is 256. One half of that is 128. And then over on this side, we have 2 to the fourth is 16. One half of that is going to be 8 and then plus c. So in this case, we have a pretty large c value of 120. And we have now evaluated for the constant of integration, or c. And now we bring back our original form. I'm going to move over to the right-hand side here and do a different column. But nonetheless, we have 1 half y squared equals 1 half x to the fourth plus c and we have found c to be 120 so I'm going to put that in there and now we need to use some algebraic manipulation to evaluate for y but we have practically done all the steps here now we just need some algebra so I'm going to start by multiplying both sides by 2. And we are left with y squared equals x to the fourth plus 240. And now we can take the square root of this, which will give us y is equal to the square root 
of x to the fourth plus 240. And you may be getting a little bit confused regarding, well, what do we do with the square root? Because we can't take the square root of a negative. And that's absolutely true. We cannot take the square root of a negative. But we can note here that our x to the fourth term cannot actually be negative because anything raised to the fourth is always going to be a positive value or zero. And then we're adding 240, which will simply just add 240. So we're always going to have a positive value inside of the square root. And therefore, our domain is met. And we have our final solution for y. So y will be the square root of x to the fourth plus 240. Um, and you can see how we got to that using these steps. But I thought this would serve as a good wrap-up video of differential equations, particular solutions for us, and also check out general solutions in the previous video to gain some insight into those. But that's all I have for you for this video. Please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions or anything like that. We would really appreciate it, and I hope that you have a great day. I will see you next time.